ladies welcome back to another video it's your girl mrs emily paints and today we're going to be doing this tutorial with the jaclyn hill bling boss palette i'm going to be starting off with the shade sparks and i'm going to be applying this all over my crease and i'm using a fluffy brush just to blend that out in small circles and in side to side motions Remember to use small amounts, ladies, because we do not want to make a mess with this dark eyeshadow. So just start building up the intensity little by little. Next, I'm going to be using the shade Mystic and I'm going to be applying this all over my crease. As you guys can see, this color is darker, so we don't want to go above the shade Sparks so we don't cover it up. So just blend it on your crease and remember to use small amounts of eyeshadow. Remember to subscribe to my channel, you guys, if you want to see more of my tutorials. Now I'm going in with the darkest shade on the palette and this is Berry Treasure. It's so pretty you guys. It has like this nice purple glitter to it. Super beautiful. I'm applying this onto my crease and I'm leaning more towards the bottom on my lid because I don't want to cover up the colors that we just applied. Okay, girl, you're going to want to stay till the end of this video because I'm going to show you some bomb ass tricks. So this is the Beauty Creations foundation and this has such a thick consistency. It's medium to full coverage and I like to use this to cut my crease as if it were a concealer or a primer. And this just gives me a very nice smooth canvas and I've been loving it lately. I've mentioned this in my videos recently and girl, it does make a difference. So I do recommend you get something like this to cut your crease. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Pizzazz that's such a funny name <laughs> and I'm going to be applying this all over that area where I applied that foundation. Okay, here's another trick that makeup artists don't tell you. I'm going in with the shade Sparks again, and with that same brush, just a small amount of product, I'm gonna blend the shade onto that outer corner of our eye, just to blend out that harsh line from the foundation that I used. Next, I'm gonna use the shade Mystic and do the exact same thing, and look at how this look is coming together, guys. And lastly, for this step, I'm going back in with Berry Treasure, but only a small amount because I don't want it to go everywhere. And for my under eye with the smaller brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Sparks, which is what I'm using right now. And I'm going to blend this in side to side motions as close as possible to my eye or to my waterline. Do not get on your waterline, you guys. You don't want powder inside your eye. <laughs> 
and now i'm going in with a black eyeliner and this is from italia deluxe which happens to be my most favorite eyeliner of all time And I'm taking a pencil brush just to blend that eyeliner out with the eyeshadow so that it looks as smoky as possible like my other eye. Okay, so now I'm using the Cavalli Lash Glue. And you guys, normally I use Duo Glue, but I ran out unfortunately. So this is what I'm working with, but it works just as good. And I'm using a small little brush just to apply my Inolvidable Cosmetics Glitter. And this is in the style Pretty and Pink. It's so gorgeous, and I'm only applying a small amount. And for my mascara, I'm using a very light coat of my Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara and these are my lashes you guys you can get these on my website which is linked down below these are in the style George these are so gorgeous so big and full and fluffy you guys would love using these and you can use them over and over again you can use these up to like 30 times so yeah ladies you made it to the end of this makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to subscribe and comment glitter down below so i know you watched it all the way through and i'll see you guys in my next video bye